Here comes my brother-in-law. Special guest on the typical Hawaiian cooking show. What's that? How's it? What we cooking today? Some crab. Some crab. Yeah. All right. Some mono crab. Here we go. Ooh. All right. That bugger's boiling. Yep. I'm going into the steamer right now. Got some Samoan crab. Sole, where are you from? Straight from down by the rocks. All right. And then I get what? Dodging this crab. Nice frozen just to reheat. You probably get steam at home. Steam your lao laos. Steam your patellas, you know. I'm gonna let that guy freeze. Okay, so we got our crab boiling in here. Uh, how long are we gonna have that going for? Uh, it'll be about 20 minutes. 20 minutes? Yeah. Got that, get that boiling in there. Yeah. And then start to turn red. Alright, hello everyone, welcome to the typical Hawaiian cooking show, Cooking with Kikuman. And my special guest here, my brother in law, award winning chef John Souza. We're cooking some crab. Oh no, crab. Today we're gonna do black crab. So it's a real versatile recipe. Uh, we got our crabs going right here. It's the Hawaiian crab and a Dungeness crab. So it's a two parts. You're gonna steam your crab and then we're gonna do a sauce on the side. Great for uh, any type of uh, fish as well. You got fish in your freezer on quarantine. Have to defrost that bad boy and throw him in, make some black beans. All right, let's go over the ingredients real quick. So, what we have here is some minced ginger, some uh, minced garlic with the olive oil. This right here is our black beans, salted black beans you can get at any store. You just want to put them in some water, they're salted, so you want to rinse out that salt. All right, we also have sugar, cornstarch oil for sauteing our garlic and ginger. This is a Chinese cooking wine. Um, you can do without it. If you have sherry, that'll work great. And then uh, some oyster sauce. And we'll just use some water as well. And uh, that's our ingredients for today. Everything that you should have on quarantine. <laughs> the, probably the difference would be this. You probably gotta go run right out and grab a bag of this. But this stuff lasts forever. Man. Salt it, keep it in the fridge. Whenever you wanna make black beans, ready to go. All right, moving on to our next step. What we got here? Some uh, seasoning? All right, now we're gonna make the sauce, okay? So let's start with a little bit of olive oil. What else kind of oil do you got? See this nice and shimmery and it's sweaty. Smoking, it'll be too hot, it might burn your garlic, right? So this garlic, I usually just buy a bunch of peeled garlic and uh, a little pro tip. What we do is uh, we throw it in the blender with the olive oil and uh, we keep it in your fridge for you know, whenever you need it. It's always there instead of always having to chop garlic. You got it on hand. So you're talking about this blender? Yeah, Bob. It's that's the one nice that's a secret weapon. Not afford this blender right here. Right? Secret it's a weapon. 300 dabi blender. But you get your regular bullet, that'll work. Ninja, whatever you get, posterizer. Don't be fancy, I don't want that. Alright, alright. Crabs are almost done. You can see they're starting to get some nice color on it. What we're gonna do is we're gonna break those down later. And toss it with the sauce. Ooh wee! Smells good, smells good. What's the next step here? Alright, we got our garlic and ginger starting to turn brown. We're gonna add in our salted black beans, already rinsed. Add our cooking wine. Alright. We're gonna let that reduce down. Smell that right now. Smells good. Yeah, that cooking wine is kind of a big deal, so I would highly recommend you guys go out and get it. It also comes in a square bottle, like some Chinese. It looks like a, a Johnny Walker bottle. A square bottle. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's, you can't find that one. But, um, yeah. Thank you folks for joining us here on the Typical Wine Cooking Show. Proud to say I'm um, here with my award-winning chef, brother-in-law, award-winning chef, John Souza. And uh, we're cooking some crab and we got the secret sauce here. So um, what we got? What we got? So I'm going to finish up with this sauce. We're going to add our oyster sauce. So the wine is nicely reduced. Water. 
then this is just this is your uh, your cornstarch. So you just mix it with some water. As you see, it kind of looks like uh, skim milk. So that's the consistency you want. Right. We're gonna bring this up to a boil before we add that. Okay, so we're cooking some crab, uh, Samoan crab, Dungeness crab, and we got our black bean sauce. Uh, yeah, what we got here? Yeah, so um, it's black bean sauce is real personal. You know, you guys got a kumu or like some kind of uh, moi or something in your freezer, or you guys went fishing, just so happens you got some for quarantine. This is the perfect sauce for that. I mean, you don't have to go out to the Chinese restaurant, you get them right here in your house. So, so to all our fishermen, Sailing from the ocean. Bring us some fish. We got the secret sauce for you. <laughs> Let's have a you know get together sometime soon. Yeah. Once this is all over, we can collaborate again and uh, have a luau. Cook and grind some more food. Not to guess. Thank you for joining us on the typical Hawaiian cooking show. Add a little bit of sugar to this. Right. Chinese food is all about the balance. So you want the salty, sweet, spicy, sour. Well, the yin and yang. So now we're gonna thicken our sauce, okay? So you want it to bring it up to a boil. We're gonna slowly add our cornstarch. You don't want it too thick. If it gets too thick, you just add some water to it. This is gonna coat our black bean crab. You want every single bite to have some of that sauce. Oh yeah. That sauce looks delicious and it smells good. Smell the crab too. Crab should be on the bottom. Like this, the sauce is a little bit thick, so just add a little bit more water. Chicken stock, if you want to use chicken stock, more flavor. The water's fine though. The oyster sauce, the wine, the ginger, the garlic, all has a ton of flavor. Master so, Chef John Souza, award winning chef. The crab is done. I got the Dungeness crab already broken down. Just break them down to the legs. It's the best part. So it's a messy dish, but that's how, you know, that's when it's good. All right, I'll show you how to clean the crab. So you want to go back here. I already separated out the abdomen. And then you reach back here and then you just pull the shell off. Okay? So that's the head. And then take the gills off. Those are not good eats, so you don't want you don't like those. Okay. So and then you save the head. This head has a miso. Some guys love that stuff. Yeah? Just gonna split it. Okay. Right down the middle. And then you take it by sections. Okay. That body meat. See all that meat in there? That's what you want. Alright? Oh yeah. Take the back of your knife. Wow. And bug them right there. Got a bean, got a boom. Yeah. Go Let's crack it. Some ono ono crab. So you don't like use your really nice knife for this, yeah? See all that meat? That's the best part. The body meat. Go all the way around. Oh, see them. See them. I'm gonna buy you learn. I'm gonna buy you learn. Okay. Let's crack it. We got some Samoan crab and Dungeness crab. Let me use all the goodies. Make all the goodies. The goodies. Goody, goody, goody. This is not for the kind of You like king crab legs, you go eat king crab legs. This is for get down and dirty. Alright. Take our sauce. Ooh, man. Right over the top, just like that. We usually do this in a wok, so the wok will toss this in the wok and each piece gets coated in sauce, right? Yeah. Give them. Alright, this is the best right over the rice. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Get that out. Yeah. Real simple. No more rules. You in quarantine, bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey. I know exactly what you mean. How's it mm, looking, my grand? Looking good, yeah. smelling ono juice. Oh, bro, my mouth is watering right now. I can't wait to get that sauce. Fingers on those. Yeah, you see all the black on the crab. 
All right. All right, and this is our final product, black bean crab. Cool. We got the Samoan crab and Dungeness crab in there. Yeah. And like uh, my brother-in-law John Souza Souza said, with this sauce, you can anything, use yeah. anything, yeah. fish, black bean fish is one of the best. Fish. Steam the fish, same way. Pour the sauce right over. Done deal. We will post the recipe yep. and ingredients for you folks out there. So once again, thank you folks for joining us here on the Tips and Wines Cooking Show. Cooking with Kikuma and my award-winning chef brother-in-law. Johnson's. And then likes, um, put a comment down and see what, what you guys want us to make. What else you guys want us to make? Man? Let us know what, the, yeah. what else you want us to make. Yeah. What else you want us to cook next. Thank you for tuning in. Aloha. 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 All right. So I get the call. Here for sample. Sample time now. And check this out. Chico. Mmm. Wow. Chico. That is ono. The sauce is winner on point. Ooh, Crab cooked perfect, juicy, and finger licking good. Oh, we're cooking. Yes, we're cooking. Oh, we're cooking. Yes, we're cooking. Some oh no, oh no grinds. Oh, we're cooking. Yes, we're cooking. Oh, we're cooking. Typical Hawaiian style. That's a wrap. It's real. Let's get it real. <laughs>